pride in boat ownership manifests itself in a variety of ways here in Port Clovis. There's no such thing as a recession-proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. While homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living, they are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Kind of like my son Jeff. Along a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Like most American cities, the founders of Port Clovis were Freemasons and probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. If only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided. 